Over the years, Minnie Mouse has had a variety of different costumes, from her normal dress to ball gowns to swimsuits and much, much more. For a full in-depth history, I'd recommend Disney Dan's video, but for today, we are going to look at my top 20 favorite Minnie Mouse outfits. Now, just a disclaimer, of course, Minnie Mouse has so many outfits, it's hard to choose just 20, but these are 20 of what I think are some of the best. Let's get into it. 20th, we have Minnie Mouse's Paint the Night Dress from 2018. Now, I couldn't do this countdown without having, of course, Minnie's iconic dress, and this is her same iconic dress, just a bit revamped. I love the sparkly lights, she looks gorgeous. Now, this one is in 19 for only one reason, and that is that I couldn't find any other photos or any information on it. Now, I'm assuming it is a Halloween outfit, seeing as it looks like a Halloween costume, and from what I could find, it might be from 2016. This photo is taken at the Pop Century Resort, which would make sense. I don't know exactly the history on this outfit, but I do love Minnie Mouse in a poodle skirt, and I think it is super adorable. Let me know down below if you have any more information about this outfit or what year it's from. 18 is Summertime and Dine at Hollywood and Vine from 2016. Now this one is a super cute little sundress or maybe a bathing suit, I'm not too sure. Although it is a bit gaudy, the colors are a bit mm, weird. I do love this and I love the little silhouette on Minnie. I think she looks fabulous in anything floral printed and the cute little smaller pink bow looks adorable. In 17th is Minnie Mouse's outfit for Castaway K. This is the outfit you would see Minnie Mouse in when you go to Disney's private island through the Disney Cruise Line. Now I can't find an exact start date for this outfit, but from my research it looks to be about 2012. I love this super retro sort of design. Anything that has to do with the Disney Cruise Lines, they always give Mickey and Minnie a sort of vintage retro look to match the fact that the ships are supposed to look like those ideal original steamliner ships and this is no different i love the sort of 90s color scheme along with the big seahorses on her over jacket i think it is super cute being on theme with cruise lines we have minnie mouse's captain minnie look from the disney dream in 2023 now, I'm partial to this one because it is very similar to the original Captain Minnie design, except this time she gets pants. We rarely ever see Minnie Mouse in pants, and I think she looks so cute and very much more like a captain. Number 15 is a bit of a short one. This is Minnie Mouse's new Castaway K outfit for 2024. Once again, we do not know much about this where it is so new, but I do like this one just a little bit more than her old outfit. I love the sort of simple sundress silhouette along with those bright tropical colors. This is Epcot's opening day outfit. This is a very iconic outfit for not only Minnie, but the rest of the Fab Five. We've seen this one time and time again in merchandise and in statues, and it's even been brought back in the, car in the parks for a couple of retro nights. I love this look with the rainbow bow and then the very sleek, sort of futuristic silver outfit with that big rainbow on the chest. Is Tokyo Disney Sea's Lost River Delta meet and greet outfit. This one gives very much a 1910s vibe with the long green skirt and little overcoat. I love the pink accents and I think her little hat that goes with it is an adorable detail. In number 12 is Minnie Mouse's Disney Alani outfit. Now I couldn't find an exact start date for this outfit, but it is seen in the theme park area. I don't know exactly what it called. The resort? It's been seen in the resort up to 2024. I love this. The little blue top with big frilly shoulders and then it has a very floral skirt that cuts right above the knees, which is very much Minnie Mouse's sort of normal silhouette just tamed down a bit to fit that more beach theme. 
This is Minnie Mouse's new Disney Alani outfit. It has sort of a wrap dress top to it with a little bit of frills and along with a bow tie around the waist and then a big flowy skirt in a beautiful teal color with a bit of pink accent. Then in 2019, we got Minnie Mouse's brand new Topolino Terrace outfit. Now, fun fact I didn't know until I went to Italy this past week is that Topolino is Disney, is Mickey Mouse's name in Italian. So Topolino Terrace is really just Mickey's Terrace. Now, I don't know if that's common sense and I just didn't know that, or if that's new to some other people, but that is where the name come from, comes from. Other than that, focusing more on the outfit, it has much of a newspaper print to it with sort of a Parisian look. I adore this one. I think the black and white look on Minnie Mouse is something we don't see very often, but it suits her very well. In ninth is Minnie Mouse's outfit for breakfast at the Four Seasons Resort. This one started in 2015 and is a very simple look. And the thing I love most about this is Minnie's bow. It looks like a pair of sunglasses to me and she just looks like she's on vacation, which definitely fits the sort of resort theme. I love her uh, little handkerchief tied around her neck along with this coral color that fits her new face sculpt so well. This Minnie Mouse outfit hails from Tokyo Disney, where if you do a bit of research, a lot of fabulous costumes come from. Tokyo Disney has so many beautiful costumes, and this is just one of them. They are very good at dressing Minnie Mouse in colors that we don't usually see in our American parks. This is one of them. Although it is pink, it is that very rich, deep pink with bright yellow accents, and because it is a rain poncho thing, they cover her little ears in some clear plastic, which I think is an adorable detail. This is Minnie Mouse in Hollywood Studios 2023. Now, this is another Parisian styled look. I love the little sailor's collar that they have at the top, along with these stripes before flowing into yet another coral skirt. I think Minnie Mouse looks fabulous in coral, and I love that we're seeing more and more of it as time goes by. We are in the top five now with Princess Minnie Mouse. This is seen mostly in Tokyo Disney's nowadays, but started in Disney World back in 2016 from what I could find from my research. Now, I am a sucker for big princess ball gowns. Some of my favorite Disney characters are the Disney princesses. So of course, combining my favorite non-Disney princess character with the Disney princesses is just heaven on earth for me. But the only reason this one is a bit lower is because it does have some very big competitors that we will get to right now. And number four is Tokyo Disney's stage show Be Magical with Sorcerer Mini. Now I love this. We don't often see a Sorcerer Mini to go alongside Mickey, but we did for this one. It has a beautiful purple to pink ombre with the big bell sleeves and a little witch hat atop her head. There is a variation with a bit less of a poofy skirt and I do not like that one as much, but overall I think this Sorcerer Mini look is fabulous and I hope we see it more often in the western parks. Number three is Tokyo Disney Sea's Winter Mini from 2013. Now all of the Christmas minis are somewhat similar looking, but this one gets pushed just above the others by having this cute sort of knitted look. I love the big heart pockets and her little scarf with the, uh, what I'm assuming is mistletoe on it. I think it just has a very cozy Christmas look to it that some of the Western Park minis don't get as much. So another props to Tokyo Disney. In number two is another Tokyo Disney Minnie Mouse from 2018 that I'm assuming is from a parade. This Minnie Mouse is in number two for one reason, and that is the beautiful firework effect on this dress. Now it has a sort of shimmery blue look to it, and then on top of that it has some fireworks. And then it has a pink embroidered neckline and then a green little bow tying it all together. It has that sort of classic Japanese look to it that is just a bit updated to give us that classic Minnie Mouse outline, and I think it is gorgeous. These colors look so pretty on Minnie, and this dress twirls so beautifully. 
And then before number one, we have a couple honorable mentions. This is Season of the Heart Mini from 2011, similar to the Princess Mini, but just not as good. I do love the little overlapping colors. I just wish it this dress had a little bit more. And our other honorable mention is this Hong Kong Disneyland dress from 2024. Very similar to the firework one, just not as cute. I do love the green on Minnie Mouse. We don't often see Minnie Mouse in green, and this green and blue dress really pops. I love the pink flowers on top. And in number one is Disney World's 50th anniversary dress. I love this shimmery, shiny fabric on Minnie with the gold accents. I could be a bit biased because this is the first time I went back to the parks, post-COVID, but I do think this dress is absolutely stunning. I love the translucent layers with all the sparkle. I think it twirls beautifully in parades and the little gold accents just pop. Along with that, it has a little bow at the back of it that just ties it all together and makes it extra adorable. And that is my top 20 Minnie Mouse outfits. This is the first Disney video I've done in a long time, but I'm hoping to do more in the future, mainly on the Disney princesses. So if I sound a bit off, it's just because I'm getting back into the swing of making videos. Anyway, let me know your favorite Minnie Mouse outfits down below and if I missed anything on the information for these ones. Goodbye!